Well, hello. This should look like a different room, because <laughs> it is. I don't know that I've ever shot anything in here. These are green spots. And you can hear the distant sound of police cars in the background. So, I am over here working on my new recording studio. It's also kind of storage as we're working on the house. <laughs> so, my plan is to orient everything facing this wall. And I'm going to set this wall up, as you can see by the uh, spot tests there, as a green screen. Because then I can put whatever color I want on the back wall. The side walls will remain white and the ceiling. So my lighting can keep everything bright. And hopefully all will go well. So right now, I just got me a dry towel and I'm going over the wall since it's kind of sat for a while. And we're just going to make sure there's not any dust or dirt or spider webs and stuff on it. And then we've got some new paint. It's not exactly this paint, because as you can see, there's a bit of glare, which it's better now that it's dried. It was really bad when it was still wet. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, change the lighting a little. I'm either get some split bulbs or something, because it's just incandescent outlets. That is not a face camera. The camera was focusing on it like it was a face. So get some lighting for that, some some lighting off on the ground or on the side here to illuminate the background. And uh, yeah, that's the dryer duct. I'm going to go ahead and put a box in there with a access door on it because I need to get in there to work on the duct work. And that will cover that up and mostly protect it because I don't want to drop anything on it. So yeah, that's kind of what we're working on, just making sure that uh, the wall is not dusty. And then I'll get it taped off. And I've got a... What I was saying about the color is it's it's this color, but it's in like a... what they call a dead mat or a dead flat. Not sure which, because I don't remember what she said. But it's that same... It's colored the same as the neon green. So that... Uh, should give us a really nice background. I did a chroma test on that one, well, on both of them, and on several swatches. And ultimately, I kind of like that one. So, we went with that one. So, I guess uh, I'll come back with an update in a little bit. I like flipping this towel around because it's fun, and I'm on the wrong side of the camera for me to show you my sweaty face. It's kind of warm in this room. Which will continue to be until I get my air conditioner installed. But that is a project for another day. So we'll be back in a little bit when I've got something to update you on. Okay, here we are. We're back. <laughs> Still green spots, but now we have blue lines all the way around. And oh my gosh, what is that? So that's going to be our green. Probably slightly darker than that because it'll dry and <coughs> you know things normally get darker as they dry. So that's the thing. Uh, you'll notice down at the bottom that I didn't go all the way behind that pipe. I started to and then I got smart because I'm going to put a box around it anyway. And realistically, it's probably going to be higher than that. And now I'm definitely going to make sure it's higher than that. So there's no point in trying to paint behind that. Especially right now, because it really doesn't benefit anything at all. And it'll be covered. And I may paint the box green, too. I haven't decided. I don't think that uh, that low is going to be on the camera. But, so we're all taped off. We're going to uh, get in here and start on the edging 
I got this beautiful little guy. I almost feel bad about turning this beautiful white brush green. I'm going to have to get something so I'm not dripping all over the place with this. <clears throat> so, but uh, just like this, we'll start in here and turn these green. We'll probably go over it twice before we start rolling because it's not covering that white very well. So, and I think due to the color, see that's how it compares to that one. You can't even tell the difference. And then on here, I'll go ahead and cover this once before I roll just because it's a very different color. I don't want it to stand out or whatever. So that's uh, that's about the extent of where we're at. It's a really nice color. It's called Neon Green, I think. Clark and Kensington brand. In case anybody else wants to try it once we get to the end. Or further. I'm not sure which. Depending on how fast it coats and really how fast it dries. And if I fall asleep before then. <laughs> so that's what we got. So we'll see you in the next update, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> green wall. <laughs> uh, that shine should go away because it's it's just still wet. I've got a little bit of touch up to do, and then I got to peel the tape off of there, and then have my green feller there. But uh, as an example of what I hope to accomplish, I will put this tube in front of it so it's something not green since I'm not currently capable of standing in front of it and taking the video because I didn't really plan on anything so <laughs> tube thing on floor green can that stuff and here you'll see the chroma key takes over now it's dark and here's a spacey background I think it's spacey it's a free one that power director gives me so that's cool. So we'll have one final wrap up when we uh, get this all done, get the touch up done and pull the paint and then that'll be a project in the books. So we will see you in that last clip. Well, it's all done. It's in there drying. But this is a little bit of fun cleanup. <laughs> I ended up going back over it and doing another light coat on it because uh, it didn't look like it was very even. There's a lot of patches on it and everything. So it looks a lot better now. Mostly I like the green water that I want to <laughs> chroma key out, both for you and for me. So we'll do that and we'll go show you a... Uh, out of the other room. Let me drop this in here and then I'll drop this down in here. And those can rinse each other out for a minute while we go in here and take a look. Oh, I still got to pull the tape off. Oops. So we'll have one more clip after I get done out there. I hope that's a wet spot and not a light spot. But it looks like a light spot. We may have to touch that up a little bit once everything dries. So, but for the most part, it's mostly dry. It's not shiny. It's got really good, even looking greenness to it. So, we'll be right back after I finish cleaning up that brush and pull the tape off. And then we'll get a final shot. I'll try and get a shot of me in front of it or something so we can key it out and. See how it looks. And we're back. Now I know how much you guys love this part, so we'll just try and keep me from getting coated. And peel back the tape. Well, that's not cool.
couple spots up there too. Oops. Well, we know there's spots on the other side we gotta touch up so that doesn't bother me too much. Supposed to be satisfying, and it's not because I keep messing it up. A couple of spots. I knew it was going to lead over there because of how I laid the tape, and this corner was kind of rounded, so it was hard to figure out where the corner actually was. Did you focus camera? There we go. Step back. Can we pull this off? Put my keel. Grab the rest of that bottom one. And we're only kind of lucky. <laughs> she is. The big grand green screen. Basically floor to ceiling. So let me grab a something to sit on. Uh, what about this chair I guess. Maybe. Maybe I'll just stand. I'll just pop this over here. sure what all you're going to get, but uh, I'm going to walk in front of it. My hair probably looks horrible. My shirt's not great. And here, I'm probably just looking at my knees. So I'll go ahead and sit down and try not to get some pain on me. And how can you see me? Hi. So that's not going to work. So here it is. The green screen. And change colors. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. So that's going to wrap it up for this project, for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me through all my goofy, strange things. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, of course, hit the like button down below. I hope that I'm still on frame. <laughs> And uh, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Um, I don't have any of those statistics that everybody's posting about who watches my videos and who doesn't. Because, again, I didn't really plan on making this video. So you get a bonus today. Until next time, stay random. Local.